Christina and I'd love you to join my campaign to show Lego some climate love. Most of you have probably stepped on one of these at some point in your life. Having children, they're ubiquitous and Lego is big business. I'm a financial translator for Swedish uh, corporates. What I'm really passionate about is the world around me. I love it and I want it to stay as beautiful as it was when I grew up for my children and my grandchildren. I'm sure you agree with me about that. Now, what Lego has done that's really special is that they've set themselves quite stringent targets to start with and they've actually beaten their own targets. So their aim was to go 100% renewable energy, but they've done it three years ahead of their own schedule. And that's something I think uh, deserves some climate love. Kids have learned strategy, planning, creativity, collaboration from using these little guys that are not ready made. And that's something that I really support in itself. But they're made of plastic, aren't they? And they're made on a massive scale. Lego is America's largest toy manufacturer. So the fact that they've actually taken the lead on um, uh, going renewable sends a massive signal both to consumers all around the world. Renewable is the way forward and it's doable. What I also really like about Lego is the way they look at children, not as a potential customer to be manipulated, but as a source of inspiration. And they're bringing out toys that are aimed at helping children care about environmental and social issues. I think that's really the way forward. And together we can do this. And I'm so grateful for We Don't Have Time. So please go to wedonthavetime.org and agree to my campaign and send Lego some climate love that'll help them keep up the great work they're doing. Thank you. Yeah.